Greetings, folks. The ORS 15G repaste procedure will be nearly identical to the 17G, as well as the newer Aero chassis design. To start off, there's 12 Torx T6H screws that hold the bottom panel in place, two of which have tamper evident stickers. All of these were the same length. I used the suction cup to pull the bottom panel off instead of gouging the chassis. Links in the description below for the iFixit Protect toolkit that I have been using for the last three years to do jobs like this correctly. Next, unplug the battery cable. Then remove the seven rubber tips that cover the screws holding the cooler onto the motherboard. I usually leave these off since the sticky material often sticks to the screw rather than coming off with the rubber. Next, carefully remove the display cable from the channel. It rests within the cooler fins. Try not to bend anything. You do not need to remove the cable entirely. There's two screws per fan that need to be removed as they will come attached to the cooler. One of the screws has another tamper evident sticker. Next, back out the seven screws securing the cooler to the motherboard. One came out completely, which means the plastic clip did not hold the screw in place. We'll address this during reassembly. Before we can remove the cooler, we'll need to unplug both fan cables. Access to the left cable was made much easier once I removed the Wi-Fi card from its socket. I did not need to remove the Wi-Fi card from its antenna. There was a hidden cable I didn't see initially during the cooler removal, and this thin cable lies in a channel cut into the fin on the opposite side of the display cable. After removing the cooler, I'll assess the thermal paste. While this is a new laptop and used for the first time about one week ago, it was built six months ago. The thermal paste coverage was thin but acceptable. This was still pliable, and that's more than I can say about other devices I've torn down that were fresh off the press. To remove the old paste, I'll use isopropyl alcohol and paper towels, then give it a final wipe with isopropyl alcohol and a coffee filter to limit contaminants left behind. I'll do the same to the cooler as well. Today I'll use Fobia Nano Grease since I found its performance to be solid per the thermal paste video I made a few months ago. Links below and at the end of the video for that. I also like Fobia Nano Grease for its longevity. It doesn't pump out either. I'll use the P method for this small square and line for the rectangle. I've repasted more laptops and desktops than 50 tech users will in their whole lifetime combined. This will work perfectly. I've had many attempt this and claim the results were poor. There's more to this than just globbing it on the die and calling it a day. It's the amount and the reassembly that's just as important. You're the surgeon here. Make it right. Next, I'll reinstall the plastic clip and screw onto the cooler, give it a final wipe, and begin putting this Aorus 15 back together. Time to reverse the procedure by installing the cooler, respecting where the fan cables and display cable are located during this process so nothing gets stuck under the heat pipes or fan housing. Reinstall all four fan screws and seven cooler screws, plug in both fans, reinstall the Wi-Fi card, double check everything for leftover parts and make sure all cables are routed in their correct location and orientation. Satisfied? Then plug in your battery, reinstall the bottom panel. As expected, after a one hour bake in the Battlefield 5 firing range, and system settings to pull maximum wattage along with maximum fan speed, temps were identical. Ambient temperature in my house is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome to the winter. Gigabyte did a good job with their paste application, and this is still a newer laptop. Rumors have stated Gigabyte uses Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut on their high-end gaming laptops, but I cannot confirm this. However, your Oris or Aero laptop might be 12 plus months old now, and this guide makes sense. It's here when you need it. Thanks for watching.